you are wrong. You are at fault. It's because of you, 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 you. <laughs> Which finger do we use to blame others? This finger. Oops, this finger, right? Index finger. Why? Because Guru, Jupiter rules our judgment. And whenever we say you are wrong, <laughs> we are actually judging some others. All right. Or somebody else is judging us, right? So therefore, this is the finger of Jupiter. And why am I saying this? Because today we are going to discuss good and bad Jupiter symptoms or placements in the horoscope. Sorry, okay. Now, again, disclaimer, don't see things in black and white. But if there are other indicators supporting these factors astrologically, then things can be excellent or it can be worse, okay? So the first indication of a great Jupiter is a straight index finger, okay? Now, what do I mean by straight? Straight means when somebody's hand is like, you know, normal, like this. Okay, oops. Can I make it? Oops. <laughs> Okay, so then if if this is straight, okay, then, oops, now it's not appearing straight. So suppose some, something like this, okay. Now, this has to be like, you know, when the person is normally opening the hand, then it should be, you should not like do it like this or do it like this, okay, uh, to make it straight. So whenever it's normal, normally when you just do like this, if it is straight, okay, then you know that the person's Jupiter is very strong, okay, especially this has to be seen in the right hand, okay. Now, <coughs> If uh, this right finger is very uh, straight, then it means the person abides by rules, regulations, morality, and all these things, okay? Now, if uh, the right, the, the index finger is tilted this side or that side, we'll discuss what it means, okay? But in general, if this is straight, this shows there is a healthy balance. Like, for example, the person knows when to uh, break certain rules or when to, you know, follow certain rules, okay? Uh, the person uh, is very aware of uh, the rules and regulations in general. That's what Jupiter represents, right? Morality, uh, rules, regulations, and all this, okay? Following the custom, following the tradition. Number two, in the person's date of birth, if the number three is present only one time, or the destiny number is three, then also the person has a very strong indication that uh, the person has a very... Powerful Jupiter. Okay, now what does this mean? This is similar to what I said for Saturn. So, for example, if 3 is present one time, okay, uh, so 3 is there only once, which means either you are born on 3rd or 21st or 30th, no, or maybe even 31st, but there is no 3 anywhere else, neither is your, uh, is your destiny number 3, okay. Or you don't have 3 anywhere, but your destiny number, which is... Uh, your complete sum of date of birth, that is 3. So, either ways, 3 has to be there only once, okay? So, if 3 is there only one, one time, or if the destiny number is 3, then also this means the person can have, you know, very uh, strong inclination towards spirituality or morality or family and all these things, okay? Now, you know, this is very important because the power of 3 starts reducing as uh, it becomes more and more, okay? So, for example, if 3 is present only one time or if uh, the the destiny number is 3, then it's very strong. So, you'll see these people will be a bit more <clears throat> centric towards their morals and all this, okay? does not mean they will be, uh, they will not have any crooked traits, but they will believe very strongly what they think is right, okay? But so, for those Jupiterian traits, it is very good. It, it does not mean that, you know, criminals, thugs, murderers, cooks, and uh, absconders will not have this, okay? They can also have, but they will believe that they are right, okay? <laughs> so, that's how it works, okay? <laughs> now, number three, we come to astrology now, okay? Guru in Lagna or in trines, but with a well-placed nakshatra lord. What what does this mean? So, suppose your lagna is uh, Sagittarius and your Jupiter is in lagna. So, it is well-placed. It is in Mahapurush Yog. It is in Mool's record. Very powerful placement. But, within Sagittarius, the nakshatra lord, okay? So, for example, in Sagittarius, we have Purva Shada nakshatra, right? Or we have Mula nakshatra. We also have Uttara Shada nakshatra. So, if your 
if your Jupiter is in suppose Mula Akshatra, now who is the Akshatra Lord of Mula? Ketu. If Ketu is also well placed, then this is a fantastic placement. Okay, this makes you a very strong. Uh, this give gives you very strong tendency towards spirituality, morality, and you know rules, regulations, and uh, yeah, you are very responsible and you know when to do what. Okay, so this is a very powerful placement. Number four, Jupiter well placed in the D9 in Kendra. Very, very, very important. Jupiter in the Navamsha Kendra. Navamsha chart, D9 charts, Kendra, first, four, seven, ten. These four houses. If Jupiter is well placed, which means it is either in a fire sign or a water sign, then this shows that somehow you are blessed in life. You know, there is like, you have, you get things... You will not get it easily, you may get it, but even if you don't get it easily, if you just find, you get it. Okay, it's like somehow blessings are floating around you. Okay, so this is a very incredible place when it makes life a bit easier sometimes. Okay, but again, this has to be supported. You know, if the overall chart is very difficult, then this may not give too many results. Okay, number five. Jupiter well placed in the Saptamsha chart. This can give you good children, provided the D1 is also supporting. Now, it is very difficult to identify will you have good children or bad children. But if your Jupiter is strong in the D7 and in the D1 it is reasonably well placed and in the D9 also it is reasonably well placed, then it means you will you will do your best to give a very good life you know, to your children. So this by default can mean 90% of the time that you have good children. Although this is not a guarantee, okay? If your guru is exalted in D7, there's no guarantee that your son or daughter will become a, somebody, uh, some superstar, okay? It, it does not mean that because many times when I do consultations, people always ask me what kind of children I will have and I say, well, we cannot say that using astral. We can say when you can if you are a man, can you uh, impregnate and uh, make a lady conceive or if you are a lady, can you conceive? But we cannot say how will be the ch children's life, okay? But we can certainly say that if Guru is well placed in D7, you try your best and then yes, you may get good results, okay? So, but this has to be supported in the D1 also, otherwise not, okay? Now, bad placements. If in your date of birth, you have the number 3 multiple times, then it can show your morality is a bit reducing, okay? Or your uh, your conception of spirituality is something like, you know, it's a bit eccentric or something like that, okay? Uh, and if you are certainly a journalist or a businessman, there is something shady there, okay? Now, I can give you so many examples, <laughs> but I will refrain from doing that because then this will become a political conversation, okay, which I don't want to do it now at least. So let me see if somebody can uh, quote now one famous businessman who has this and one famous journalist who has this. All right. So let me see who can make it. <laughs> of course, you will find many, but there are two specific examples which I am searching for. So suppose somebody is born like, you know, uh, 3rd of March, okay, or, yeah, like, you know, March 1993, something like that, okay. So, therefore, uh, you need to be a bit careful. The people who have multiple threes in their date of birth, they may sound very sweet to you, and they do sound very sweet, but they're not as sweet as they appear. Okay, very, very, very important. Don't take this lightly, okay? I'm not saying they are crooks and they are cheaters, but they are a bit, they are a bit extra sweet to pretend. They are like pretenders, okay? Can be, okay? To some extent at least. But you will see they are, they are very sweet people, like, you know, two times three, three times three. The more the three, they are like super sweet. <laughs> but they may not be your well wishes. This is what you need to understand, okay? Number two. Jupiter in the 8th house in the Bhava Chalit chart, but with bad trinal lords, okay? Now, Guru in 8th is not directly a bad placement. It can be good or bad. It depends. But it can show immorality. It can show infidelity. Provided the trinal lords, the 5th lord, ninth lord, they are also very badly placed. So, if they are badly placed, then what happens is you 
they lack morals okay so or you may like commitment so therefore that can create problems in your married life okay so this is another difficult placement guru in third third house is the house of prostitution gemini the original sign of prostitution right it's maithuna bhava have you seen the sign of gemini right prostitution basically jupiter in third and the nakshatra lord is in a dusthan okay so suppose jupiter is in the third house you know in ashwini and he too is in the 6th 8th or 12th okay example then this is a very difficult placement this can show you are hopping like dogs from one person to the other you are you are behaving like a, you are, you are indulging in prostitution basically okay now you may not literally go and enjoy with a prostitute okay but that's how you behave here. you become like dogs and pigs and cats and what all that pigeons <laughs> So third house is the house of prostitution and if your uh, nakshatra lord of Jupiter is badly placed, then that's it. That's the end of the story. And of course, provided, you know, the Lagnesh, fifth lord, ninth lord, these are also in a bad dignity. Only then this happens. Otherwise, um, you cannot make a blank, blanket statement. But in general, if this is there and the nakshatra lord is also very badly placed, then, oh boy, especially if the nakshatra lord is in eighth or twelfth, it's almost sure, okay. All right. Number four, Jupiter badly placed in D9. What is this? If Jupiter is, you know, in Abdustan or debilitated or, you know, afflicted in the D9, Navam Shachar, this can show it is a bit difficult for you to be happy in general, okay. Why? Because, you know, things somehow don't turn out to be in your favor. It could be like that, okay. Now, what does this mean? This means that you have to work towards improving your Jupiter. So do spiritual practices, you know, feed uh, sadhus, spiritually elevated people, uh, give donations to temples, you know. Yeah, I mean, feed prasad to others. Well, then only this will improve. It shows you lack merits from your previous lifetimes, okay. And last but not the least, poetry again. You are responsible, you <laughs> now, if this finger is tilting towards the thumb, oh, suppose somebody opens, of course, it, it won't be like this. <laughs> but suppose it is, you know, like this, okay? When when somebody is making their hand straight, it is like this, okay? So this is tilting towards their thumb. So what does this mean? This means the person is a bit reckless, okay? And the person is like, you know, not very structured, organized and all this, okay? Now, this can mean the person uh, can be a bit eccentric. So, in that sense, it is good. But in general, for Jupiter interest, now, you will never find a finger which is very straight. It will always be like this or a bit like this. But but imagine it is this much bent, okay? Then this is very dangerous, very problematic, okay? The person can smash you anytime, okay? Or, <laughs> if this finger is bent on the other side, okay? So, the Saturn finger is there. So, it is bent on this side. Okay, towards the Saturn finger, then it means you are overly obsessed with rules and regulations and you are like merciless. You are like, oh, you are late, what, so what? You know, your father uh, was in the ICU, so what? You are late, you know, I, I, I'll, I'll not give you attendance today, something like this, you know, obsessed with rules and regulations. So then you become like a fanatic, okay? So, therefore, best is if the finger is single, but again, it should be single when you open, okay? It, it should, you, you should not make it, you know, straight artificially, okay? Or if it is this side, it will show overly obsessed and this side, you don't follow rules, regulations, and you want a bad name, okay? So again, this has to be seen in extremes, okay? You, you will never find a finger which is like uh, directly, you know, like straight. You will never find it, okay? Because there's nobody like that, okay? But nonetheless, if you find all these things, and you combine all this, okay? If you find two indications here, there, then you will know how it works, okay? Thank you so much for your patience. Please let me know down in the comments what are some of the other placements that you have seen which indicate some bad or a good Jupiter. And if you are new, then don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and for personalized consultations, my website is below. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him for sure. Take care. Jai Siyaram. Jai Guru Maharaj.